Alright everyone, we got our first match of the day starting. It's McLeod versus Caleb. Now McLeod off some pretty hot online results and some pretty hot online runs. Caleb off of some pretty close local matches himself. So this is actually going to be a clash of the ages here at EVAC, honestly. I'm going to keep it real. This is actually going to be a tight battle. Like, no hyperbole. Caleb, definitely no stranger to Combo Wing Peach, so it's not going to be too hard for him to pull something out of the bag, really, for him. Right, I'm just going to continue sharing the stream as well, guys. Enjoy some games. Welcome. Um, I just checked. Thanks, man. Sorry gang, I keep forgetting that F5 is one of the scenes and I accidentally swapped the transition. Didn't mean that, but it doesn't matter, we're still here. Oh my god, this is brutal. Yeah, I was I had a lot of hope in Caleb at the start of this match, but it's starting to fade away. Oh, yep. He calls out the high recovery, and that's all she wrote for Falcon. That is unfortunately just going to happen if you're Falcon. You're just going to get rocked like that. You're just going to get rocked. There's not much you can do about it. Game two, though, hopefully. Mc Sorry, Caleb isn't too in his own head. Yeah, McLeod looks like he just came down from the mountain. After a year of hibernating. Not not quite a year, maybe, but like a good month of solitude, it seems. Meanwhile, Caleb uh, actually deciding that he doesn't need his corporeal form and is now actually just a floating head. Um, <laughs> uh, he's, he's just a floating head in the background, guys. <laughs> See, I could make like the like darker tones on the webcams really, really black, and then it would really look like he was f like just a floating head in the camera. <laughs> I'm very tempted to try it. See, this is a great first stock from uh, Caleb. If he can just like, you know, minimize his uh, openings like he has been this first stock, it'll be going good. All right, and we got a bracket for you all, guys. I'm going to pop this one in chat for you as well. I keep pressing F5. I'm so sorry. Bad habit. Yeah, sure. All right. So I got a bracket for you guys, too. I'm going to pop this in here for you. Alright, and I gotta go play a match, but you get to enjoy the sultry sounds of musket on the mic, friend. Hello, hello. What's up? We have a very exciting SE melee tournament, and we're seeing McLeod versus Caleb. Caleb's actually been improving over these past months or so, and I mean, obviously, McLeod's had a Pretty decent rise, improvement, so... Um, my card's definitely favoured, but it's, it's always possible. Okay, look at that sneaky win. Oh, it just ditches the stitch. Um, 
It's always very scary trying to hit Peach at this percent because um, obviously CC, but also McLeod's been improving like massively with his power shields. So if you do something, an error that's like very obvious, you might just get power shield, uh, down smash or jab. That's it. Some of Falcon's late aerials are very safe, so it's very hard to punish Stace like there, like a knee. Um, especially because Falcon's probably going to jab right after knee. Like, Falcon can mix up with stuff like, say, knee, like late knee to dash back or whatever, but I feel like Caleb mostly just goes for uh, aerial into jab. He did a um, roll there, so, you know, proving me wrong. Sneaks under the Falcon. Um, yeah, it's looking a little bit dire for Caleb right now. It's, um, <laughs> but he gets the sneaky up air. Can he close out this edge guard? Yeah, I mean, Peach at that height is very easy. You just kind of grab ledge. And if she was a little bit higher, you could just. Falcon can do something like, say, um, back air from ledge and immediately re grab. And that's it. Alright. Um, I believe we'll probably have the versus Brad up next, so I'll just quickly get Brad.